in order to make tabs or buttons, the first thing that you need to do is make some shapes. So go up to your shape tool, and this is an easy tab. Tabs and buttons are the same, it's a lot like canvas. And then don't worry about the color or any of that, just make one that you think is gonna work and then kind of start to place it and then try to figure out how many that you're gonna need. You can always change it, so I'll show you that. Once you have your shape, um, the easiest way to duplicate it instead of copy and paste is you can hold down your control key and you can just drag them out. I don't have an outline on mine, so it doesn't look like um, I have many, but I just do it really quick. You can change your colors later. Notice I have one that sticks off. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have them all selected and then I can just start to make any adjustments and it squeezes all of them down instead of doing one at a time. So again, an easy way to do that is I just drew around all of them and selected them and I needed to just kind of scooch them down a little bit. And notice they all are evenly spaced. I didn't have to try to control C, control V and line everything up. I just used that control and drag them over to create more. The next thing that you need to do is you need to label them. To copy my text, I'm gonna make sure that only my text is selected and not my shape. And I'm gonna again, hold down control. And I'm just dragging it and you see how it lines up automatically. When you copy and paste, it doesn't have that nice alignment tool. To create links with your tabs, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you've clicked on your shape instead of your text. When you click on your text, you get an outline. You just wanna click on that shape. So from there, you're gonna to go to insert link or control K. And then you're gonna get an option to do it from this slides presentation. So you're gonna click this arrow right here and you're going to look and see. This is why it's important that you do it all first. So I'm going to go to the free templates. I know that's what I'm looking for. And now it's linked. And you're gonna be able to just double check to make sure that's correct. Look and make sure is that slide three, does that work? And then you're just gonna keep doing it for all of yours. Once I have all my tabs created and then I have them made, everything has been linked. So if you click on the shape, you're gonna see, yes, it's linked to the um, correct slide. And you wanna make sure that you keep these. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna draw around all of them and you're gonna hit copy, control C. And then you are gonna to go to the slide that you wanna paste it on because you want it at the top of every single one that you're navigating to. So I click, I need it on the top of slide three. I'm gonna do a control V for paste, they're all there. The last thing that I do um, after I've pasted them in all of my slides in the same place, I just control V, paste it on every slide that I needed. Um, I just put it in the present mode to just double check and make sure is everything linked correctly. And because I pasted everything right on top of each other, it looks like my slide presentation is just kind of rolling through, but it realistically, it is changing to the different slides. So it works out pretty easy. Um, and that way you just need to, you can get the information that you need pretty quickly instead of scrolling through, especially if you have a lot of information you're sharing with students.